Okay, number 37. This is a good uh, problem on how to use your calculator, namely the TI-83 in this case, to calculate um, exponential regression. Okay, to generate the exponential regression equation for a data set. Okay, all right. So, um, so what we're going to do here is basically enter this um, data into our calculators. And then we're going to use the exponential regression function to generate um, an exponential regression equation um, that basically models the data set represented by this table. All right, so let's go ahead and enter uh, the data set into our TI-83 calculator. So the first thing we're going to do is press stats button and then we have edit, press enter, so stats, and enter takes you to this edit menu right here. So we have two columns and we're just two rows. We're going to enter them into the first two columns. All right. So L1 will be X and L2 will be Y. So let's go ahead and enter the X first. So one, enter two, enter three, enter four, enter five, enter. There's another way of entering um, values into the lists in a calculator, but that method is a little bit more complicated. This is more effective because you're less likely to um, make mistakes because everything is organized nicely in tables for you. Okay, So we have 44.2 for the first Y entry, 33.5, 113.1, 268.1, and then the last entry is 523.6. Now, anytime you enter uh, data into a calculator, you always want to go back and check to make sure that you entered, entered everything perfectly, okay? So let's uh, go over our Y entry, which is list two. We have 4.2, 1 33.5, 113.1, 268.1, 523.6. Perfect. Uh, and then we just have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Okay, so now um, we have that done. So we can quit to go back to the home screen and then press stats again. And we are carrying out a calculation, um, a statistical calculation. Okay, so you Scroll to the right to your calc menu. Okay, now we are going to be looking for exponential regression. We're using um, exponential regression to model this data. So we have a lot of things here. We just keep scrolling until we find exponential regression, and there you have it, option number zero. Okay, press enter. You don't have to enter anything. It automatically um, takes the information you stored in the in those two lists and calculates the exponential regression using those two, okay? Press enter, and then this is the answer you get. So you have, using the y equals a times b to the x format, a is 2.1947, and b is 3.23, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, write that down. We have the, the form that we're using is y equals a times b to the x, okay? And from our calculator, we found out that a uh, and b are, let's take a look at that again. So a is 2.1947, 2.1947, and then uh, b is 3.23, Two, two, three, two, three point two, three, two. Okay, so what is our exponential regression equation? We just simply plug in A for A in this equation and B for B. And then we are also asked to um, write it to the nearest hundred. So that's two decimal places. All right, so we're going to be using A equals two. 0.19 and B equals 3.23 in both cases to the nearest hundred or just two decimal places. Okay, so our um, exponential regression equation
equation is given by just plug these values into that equation y equals a which is 2.19 times b which is 3.23 raised to the x power okay because our if you look at this function our independent variable is x our dependent variable is y so we just stick with the notation that uh, we were provided with in the question Okay, now why is it important for us to know how to use, how to create exponential regression models? Well, exponential regression models can enable us to carry out predictions. Okay, we can solve problems using a particular data set. So with a given in input, a given time, we can calculate, we can predict an output in a future event. And with a given output, we can also predict what input will result in that output. Okay, so consider this problem that we're going to solve using that model. It says, using the equation, predict the value of x if y equals 426.21, rounding to the nearest 10. Okay, so you see we can uh, use our model to predict what input will result in this output. If you look at the table that we're provided with here, we don't have any output value of 426. But with this model, we can predict what input value will yield to that output. So that, that is the power of um, exponential regression. Any kind of regression modeling, it just helps you make uh, reasonable predictions um, for points that are not included in the provided data set. Okay? So what we're going to do here is rewrite our model, which is y equals... Um, 2.19 times 3.23 raised to the x. We're going to set up an algebraic equation and solve it for x. Okay, so in uh, part B here, we have y is equal to 426.21 and x is what? That's unknown. That is what we're looking for in this problem. Okay. So all we're going to do now is substitute y into the equation and solve for x. Okay, so solve uh, y into equation and find x. Simple and short. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to have 426.21 equals 2.19 times 3.23 raised to the x power. All right, now what we're going to do next is we want to isolate the x, okay? So we're going to start uh, by taking out this coefficient of this exponential term. We're going to power down x by using the appropriate um, inverse of the exponential function, and then we can get x isolated with no problems, all right? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. So step number one, divide both sides by 2.19, I'm going to save my the entry of my values into the calculator till the end so that um, I don't, I'm not going back and forth over and over again, which can also impact accuracy negatively. So 3.23 raised to the x power is equal to 426.21 over uh, 2.19, which is happened here. Well, when we divided this, two canceled out, and I just reversed my equation in this order. I need to power down x. How do I do that? Well, all you, use, you, can, you can use the logarithm. Just take the logarithm of both sides, and then you can power that down. Okay, so what you want to remember is that when you take log of a to the x, this is the same thing as x of log a, all right? Uh, the base of the common log is 10, so you don't put that in there when you're working with common log. You can also use natural logarithm. You will get exactly the same answer. So the natural logarithm, namely log base e of a to the x is x ln a, okay? So what we're going to do in order to apply this um, property of logarithm here to enable us to power down x, we're going to take the logarithm of both sides of the equation. Okay, so log of 
3.23 raised to the x power is equal to uh, log of this entire argument right here, 426.21 over 2.19. Okay, and then um, using the property of logarithm, we can power down this x. So we're going to have x log um, 3.23 equals log of 426.21 divided by 2.19. Okay. All right, now our, our last step is to get uh, x isolated. So to accomplish that, we just divide both sides by what? What do we divide both sides by to get x isolated? You just divide it by log of 3.23, right? Both sides divide by log of 3.23. These two divide out. And then uh, what we we'll have to do next is enter this into the calculator. Now you have to be really careful about entering this correctly in the calculator. We have two logarithms here. The logarithm in the numerator has a quotient as its logarithmic argument. So you want to pay close attention to how you group your entries. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. Cut that out. So we have log of 426.21 divided by 2.19. Close that. Okay. Divided by log of 3.23. Okay, let's make sure we entered it correctly. Uh, log of 426.21 over 2.19 divided by log of 3.23 in my three go. Enter. Your answer is 4.4956. 4.4956. Okay, so in the question, we were asked to round it to the nearest tenth or just one um, decimal place. So since the number behind the first decimal place is five or greater, we're just going to round up. So our final answer will be x equals 4.5 to the nearest uh, tenth or first decimal place. Okay, so that's basically how you can use your exponential regression models to carry out predictions.